Cool! Data everyone from CashMoral.com! Because that makes me more excited. On today's video, we're going over the end of the ACP Markstone Rewards Punch Card. How to get an easy 1000 points, details on the donation is necessary, and an update on the Auto Redeem $10 gift card. Thank you everybody so much for joining me. I must ask if you like content like this where I go over ways you can make extra side cash doing th by doing things like playing games and using different apps and programs. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up as it really does help out the channel with the good old YouTube algorithm, YouTube gods, or what have you. That being said, we have our third 1,000 point punch card, or extra punch card, this month. For Microsoft, this is the NAACP punch card. This is going to be available for another seven days, so keep that in mind. At least it should be as of time of video publishing. But it is going to be the same as the other two, but since there are a few have been a few questions as far as all the steps and the donation I wanted to also put this out and also as a reminder to make sure that you do it now this is what it's going to look like at the beginning here uh, you have the punch card there you have, uh, remind you have to activate the punch card if you do not activate the punch card you can earn as many achievements as you want nothing will trigger once the punch card is activated the next two achievements you earn will give you 500 points apiece at that juncture, you are done. It should look like this. So at this point, you see right there, there's two check marks missing. So I have not completed the punch card in its entirety, but I already got my thousand points. From here, you can go to step four, like it says on here, uh, to learn more and help the featured foundation, because there were two prior to this one. And you can donate to it. So I think the default or the first option is to donate a dollar, which equates to a thousand points. When you donate the dollar, you will lose a thousand points, but Microsoft will match your donation, meaning you give them a dollar technically. You, you give a dollar to the, to the foundation, Microsoft will give a dollar themselves. You will not get these points back. They are a donation. They are gone. So if you want to do this and get the points and keep the points, this is what the punch card looks like. At this juncture right here, I'm already done. I already got my thousand points. I can donate them if I choose to do so, but I do not have to and neither do you. Again, with all this stuff, no judgment. Credit to Microsoft for putting a spotlight on these amazing foundations, but times are tough. You can use your Microsoft Rewards point to get things such as Target or Amazon gift cards for needed supplies. And of course, you know, things like Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, but ultimately the choice is up to you. Again, you activate the punch card, you get your two achievements, boom, there's your thousand points. Also, as a reminder, make sure that every day that you get an achievement, you come here to the achieve more, earn more, get your extra 50 points, meaning this should get you at least a thousand fifty. Not counting, of course, if you're trying to get a weekly streak that week for the achievement piece of it. But every single day I've been trying to, like I said, I only play while my son's asleep. <laughs> every day that he... I put him to bed where he's sleeping on me. I play a little bit and every time I've been able to get an achievement right now I'm playing ukulele and the impossible lair which is actually pretty easy. Every two levels you finish technically every two bees you rescue uh, there's an achievement. So I've been getting an achievement every day for at least the last 10 days. So I'm trying to do one get this 50, get these 50 points every day if you do that every day for 30 days or a regular month that's an extra 1500 points plus you know the Xbox Game Pass quests yada 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 I've been making a killing this month I already got the 3000 from the three foundation punch cards 2050 technically from the monthly bonus round then I've got all my weekly sets and I should be getting about a total of 1500 from Xbox Game Pass quests so quite a bit almost got more than 5000 points right there getting closer to seven or eight again these are all available to all uh, the Xbox Game Pass quest obviously you have to be an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate or Xbox Game Pass member to qualify for them but even if you don't have that this right here this Microsoft Rewards app getting your daily 50 rewards points for an achievement and of course the other punch cards like the monthly bonus round and the aforementioned three uh, punch cards are available to everybody so make sure you're taking advantage of them getting extra points so you can get more gift cards or whatever you choose to redeem now updates on the auto redeem ten dollar gift card because there have been questions on this so I want to put out some more details so you can sign up for this 
without having the points because the points themselves are not taken out of your account until the first of the month. If at the first of the month you have 87.50 in points, Microsoft will take them out and you will get your $10 gift card and it'll be deposited into your reward, into your account. So the same account that you have on your Xbox, you'll get a $10 credit on there on or about the first day of every month if you elect to keep this. Now, that credit, like I mentioned in the first video about, this is only good for 90 days. So you're gonna get your 10 bucks, let's say in this case on March 1st or around March 1st, those 10 bucks are only good for 90 days. You have to use them within 90 days, otherwise they expire, as crummy as it sounds. It's gift card money, but it will expire. If you do not have 8,750 points, when the time comes to pay the Piper, Microsoft will just leave the points in your account and cancel the out of redeem. So you won't lose your points. I doubt you'll get blacklisted on this, but you just won't get it. Now, if you want to cancel this or you change your mind and you don't want the auto redeem to continue, you have to make sure that you go into this section again, the auto redeem, which again is only available on the Microsoft Rewards app on the Xbox console. Unfortunately, you cannot do this through your computer as of yet and cancel out of it, but you have to do it no later than four days prior to the end of the month. Meaning this month, you would have to do it no later than February 24th. Otherwise, you will not be able to opt out of it. And if you have the points, Microsoft will take them. Of course, another way out of it is you just redeem something else. And if you don't have the A750, they just will take any points out at all. But again, remember, this gift card is good for 90 days only. After that, it expires. But that is it for that, guys. Again, A750, first of the month. If you don't have the A750, they just take zero. You get no gift card. If you have the A750, they give you the gift card or they load the account with 10 bucks. But 90 days, then it is gone. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. I really do hope that we have more punch cards like these in the future. Getting an extra 3,000 points on top of everything, every other point you can get is pretty damn good. So I'm hoping they do it again. Uh, but of course, I will be make, making these videos to give you guys a heads up so that way you can make sure you get as many points as you possibly can. Because Microsoft Rewards, it's a very lucrative program, especially if you get all the points you can out of it. You can get quite a bit of money in gift cards. And of course, my preference, get Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for free in perpetuity. But that's it. I hope everyone's doing great. Thank you everyone so much for all the support. As always, hope you're staying safe. Hope you're having a lot of fun playing all these games. Xbox Game Pass has been getting a lot of games. And I'm trying to play. <laughs> it's hard to, with all the options you have, but I will be finishing that ukulele game just because I want to keep getting achievements easily every day. I'm trying to play CrossCode, but that takes a lot of time. I tried Greedfall, but that seems like too much of a commitment at this point for me. What are you guys playing? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you're all doing good. And I have not forgotten about my video as far as making 100 bucks with my side apps. I did it last month and I should be doing it this month, although I'm going to squeak by. But I'm trying to frame it in the right way to show you guys. But I will get that video up hopefully in the very near future. But that'll be it for this one, guys. Stay safe. Go out to play some games. Make some money. Spend some money. Save some money. Don't get boned. Good boning.